In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add dynamic captions to your videos in Filmora 13. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'll begin by importing my video and then add it to the timeline right about there. Now, my video is ready for me to use the speech to text feature to add dynamic captions to my video. As we advance in the video, I'll show you one thing I hope that in future is going to be added. So stick around and let's use the speech to text feature to automatically convert our audio right here into subtitles. So from the new dialog box, uh, the language of my video or the language of the audio to be transcribed is in English. I'm going to go with English US. I'll not make any translation. Uh, the selected file to be converted, either a clip selection or the entire timeline. So if you have an entire timeline, you can select that. Uh, but remember, if you have a long video or a, a long uh, timeline sequence, it's going to take a little bit longer to transcribe and add the captions or SRTs to your videos. One important thing to make sure that you have dynamic captions is to add automatic active words. So you need to check this box. And once you check it, the SRT option, that is a subrip subtitle format, is going to be uh, grayed out. You cannot select it. But the titles feature right here, or the, the titles radio button is going to be on and it generates ordinary text fragments within the program one by one on the timeline. So that's really awesome that you can do that. And you'll see how many AI credits you're going to use. Uh, and then I'll just click on OK to have the speech to text feature run. And it's going to scan, transcode, upload, and then do the transcription uh, of our subtitles into uh, offer speech into subtitles. It's completed and you can already see the type subtitles down here as text files. If you'd like to get a subscription of Filmora, kindly use the link in the description below. Uh, they do run some offers. Currently, I'm seeing an offer of about 29.99 per year for the cross-platform annual plan. And this is available for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, and Android. Uh, the perpetual plan is also good, but you see you're limited to only Filmora 13 updates. And I'm almost sure we're going to have Filmora 14 later on this year. So if Filmora 13, uh, 14 comes out, you may be uh, left out on the updates. But if you want to keep up to date with future versions and use the different uh, Filmora assets available, I believe this is usually the best option. Normally discounted about 69.99. Uh, depending on when you're watching or where you're watching the video from. I'm seeing it at 29.99. Uh, maybe you'd see it at 69. So let's go back to the video and close this out. And if I play this in this tutorial, I'll show you. You can already see that our subtitles have been converted to titles with dynamic captions applied. If I play this, how to use the scripts. You can see the words are followed uh, the way they are being pronounced in the video eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera even when you're reading from a script. So it's really awesome to have that. Now let's access the templates and I can just make a selection here. And once I make that selection, the titles and templates will be available. So you can say you don't want this. It's going to give you just the normal bare bones. If I click, I want it. You can see that the different styles are available. And by default, this is the default style that is available, that is actually used. And then we have other different styles. And at the time of recording this video, there are eight templates available for us to use. So let's go back to the default. If you look at or hover over any style, you see a pen or edit icon right here. So you can click on it to make different edits to what you have here. If I click on this drop down. Uh, you can make different edits the way you want uh, to anything that you're working on. Now, because I've selected everything, I'll not be able to see the text. But if I just click on one block here and then click on basic, you'll be able to see the text of what you're working with. So, for example, in the first text, I believe we need to capitalize the first letter in. And that's OK. And then one thing you'll notice uh, I'm not sure if you're actually going to notice this unless you actually try it out. You'll notice that the words have some sort of background. This is more or less to mean that they are already in sync with uh, the audio. So 
if you make a change it's going to more or less kind of uh, be really difficult and I'll show you how for example in this one I'll show you how to use it's not the scripts it should be descript but let's assume I want to add the DE here if I try to do a backspace it's not going to bring the scripts option or word back to where the D and E are. So that is something you need to note. So you can just remove the D and E and then come to where the scripts is and then add the scripts. And you'll see that we have a background without anything here. You see? And it, you can actually add something if you want. You can see I can do all that. So it seems like it's being uh, made to work more or less like with the sync of the of the audio that is being said. Now that is really awesome, and probably why it actually does not work with when you have an SRT subtitle file. But I wish it's actually going to be available in future. But let's assume that is what we have. Uh, we can actually just go back now to the templates. Let's go here. And from here, you can say, let's say we want this one to be like this way. So the first option looks like that. Tutorial, I'll show you how to use this. And then the second one can have a different template. And then the third one, really depending on what you're working on, can have a different template. And you, you can make changes so that, let's say, so that you can make uh, the different options or words bigger. Uh, so they are not so small uh, when you're working with them. Uh, that goes to 56. Let's go to 56 as well. But this one is more or less for the active word. So please take a note. If you want to make the active word a little bit bigger, uh, that is something that you can actually work with. Let's go back to like 36. No, not 306. 36. It should be 36 somewhere here. Yeah, but it's still big. It's still big. Let's just go back to 20, yeah. How to use the scripts eye contact feature. Uh, that looks good, but you can still make a selection of the whole thing. And then uh, it should be somewhere here. And then adjust, let's, let me show you. And then make an adjustment of the scale. Uh, or it to be nearer. You can change the different positionings. The Y, let's bring it up slightly. And then the scale, bring the Y up, so that if you go back home. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script. So you can see what the different eye styles contact are. feature to simulate eye contact. Everything, how everything looks like. So it's uh, super, super easy to do those different options that you want uh, right inside there. The only downside, or a couple of downside now, you cannot save uh, your own uh, edits for your own uh, templates which would be really handy to actually be able to save your own title templates or dynamic captions templates so that you can reuse them over and over again. Or if you have a client and you've already settled on a style, the color theme and all that, it would be awesome to actually be able to save that and kind of have more or less a name of your client or maybe uh, the uh, particular template that you're working with. So that is the downside number one. Uh, downside number two is if I remove this text titles, uh, let's go back home and let's say I import an SRT file. Let's just add it here. In this tutorial, let's assume I want to use uh, the, to add the dynamic captions to my videos. This is not available, but you can actually convert the SRT, right click, convert to titles. So you can see they've been subdivided into different uh, titles. And if I play in this tutorial, I'll show you how it's really awesome that you can do that. But now my problem is if I select on this and I click on titles, you only have the basic. There is nothing else that you can do right inside here. You don't have the templates, which I wish were available uh, right inside here. Uh, this would make our life much, much easier uh, in whatever we're doing. Uh, but you can still recreate everything here by using the different options that we have here. It's only that you'll not be able to have the active words, future words, 
or more or less the dynamic caption feature is not going to be available if you import an SRT file. So hopefully it's going to be added. And those are more or less my two uh, features I wish were added to be able to convert your SRT into titles and you can use the templates and also to be able to save the templates uh, into your own styles depending on maybe if you have a client uh, that you're working with and you want to use the different styles you can have the option to save your own style but that is how you can add dynamic captions to your videos in Filmora 13. I hope this video covers everything that you need to know and until next time stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.